Hello, Pastor Doug, back again with another video. Today I'm going to do a reaction video. I want to take a quiz about the end times. So this should be fun. Uh, this is from an organization by a gentleman named David Jeremiah. I, I think my mother-in-law really likes him. He's, I would guess, a pre-mill dispensationalist when it comes to the end times. Um, a mill. If you don't know what that means, don't worry about that. Um, they're both Christian views of the end times. are just different. But I thought it'd be fun to take this quiz. You can play along at home. So let's begin. And as usual, we're going to do this cold. When believers are resurrected at the rapture, they will be, well, we're going to disagree about the rapture, but we'll run with it. Zombies. Oh, I want to answer that. I want to, I want to say zombies. That's not true. Angels. That's not true. That What's that horrible Christian uh, Christmas movie, A Wonderful Life? You know, when you hear a bell ring, it's a human becoming an angel. That's not true. We do not become angels at the end of the age. Angels and humans are different categories. Indestructible humans. Uh, sure. Floating spirits, eh, that's not true. Now, it is true when we die in Christ, we go spiritually to be the Lord, and we cry out, how long, Lord, and we're with the Lord in heaven. But at the very end of the age, we get a new body. There is a resurrection. So I'm going to go with indestructible humans. Ooh, it goes, ah, it goes automatically to the next one. What resurrection is not recorded in the Bible? Peter? Elijah, Jesus, or Moses? Well, Elijah is obviously recorded in the Bible. Jesus is very much recorded, recorded in the Bible. Moses, they're probably going with a Jude passage. So Peter is not mentioned. Um, well, his death's not even mentioned in the Bible, but later church history clearly will say that he died in Rome. So we're going to go with Peter. Number three, we will eat in heaven? Yes. We don't want to starve. Well, I, well we're not going to starve in heaven. Yes, without ailment. I like that answer. No, our bodies won't be capable. No food won't exist. No, there's the fatted calf that we eat marrow. And, no, we eat in heaven. It's a new, it's a new well, in the new heavens and new earth, uh, we eat. So I'm assuming he's saying the new heavens and new earth. We'll go with that one. We, when we are resurrected, we will be work without tiring, never grow old, know each other, all the above. I'm going to go with all the above. There's actually some debate whether what memory we'll have in the next life of this life. There's some debate about that, but the saints will definitely know each other, so we're going to go with this one. Number five, what will happen to signal the resurrection of the church? Well, Christ returns. A trumpet blast, an earthquake, Jerusalem's destruction, the appearance of the red sun. I'm going to go with the trumpet blast. Number six. Who does the Bible say will rise with Christ first? Pastors? <laughs> That's kind of funny. Children? The dead in Christ? Believers? If it's going about the particular verse, we're going to go with the dead in Christ. Number seven. When Jesus appeared after his resurrection, his disciples were able to recognize him? Touch him? Yeah, eventually, they rec they, it took a little bit, but... They definitely did touch him, eat with him. They did eat with him. So we're going to go with all the above. Hopefully, oh, hey, wow, we got 100%. Yay. Um, again, there's a difference in theology about the end times. We would disagree about the nature of the rapture. We would disagree about the millennium. I think we're in the millennium now because we have perfect rest with Christ. Um, again, I'm a mill. I'm assuming this is pre-mill dispensational, but it was a fun quiz and um, it is it is important to ponder about the end times because a lot of stuff that you find in popular Christianity is simply wrong. That again, they, like we're just ghosts in heaven floating around eating cream cheese and that's it. No, that's not the case. We actually, in the end, do get a new body because there's a new heavens, plural, and new earth. Everything is remade and the division between heaven and earth is done away with and Christ reigns with his Father in perfect glory. Well, I hope that helps. As always, Christ's grace and peace to you all. Amen.